Welcome to Old Dubai! We were actually here like a few days ago, actually a week ago. A week later we're back because we didn't get to explore the whole place. Last time we were at Al Sif. Still pretty much like the Al Sif area, but this time we're going to the Al Fahidi area. This is a pretty nice place, right? Just look at it. <laughs> it's real wood. Oh look, an ADM. You gotta make sure you got money to spend. We don't because we broke. Because Dubai is super expensive, you guys know. <laughs> we finished all our money and we're broke now. But I think in old Dubai, they don't really accept much credit cards. Is that correct? Yeah, well. So you have, you gotta have cash with you. I think some of the shops they do accept, but you gotta be cautious because you just never know if you know you're gonna get scammed or your data's gonna get stolen. So better be safe. Use cash. Scam? How? Like they could steal your data and they could use your credit card for whatever purchases. Just be cautious. There's a little door. See? <laughs> See? Perfect. This is like Alice in Wonderland type of shit. <laughs> get tiny doors. I think we didn't get the memo. Oh. Like everyone here is wearing shirt, like okay. shirt, nice shirts, dresses. No, we're just here to go around. You don't have to wear something nice. I'm just in a t-shirt and jeans. See? Everyone's dressed for the occasion. <laughs> they must be going somewhere. Instagrammable spot over here. So I gotta take one for the gram. Look, camel steak and camel burger. Okay, so we gotta be honest guys. This is actually what we came here for to this place. We didn't come here to look at the historical houses of Al Alphamidi but we actually came here for the local tea house local house restaurant tea house and we are gonna try the camel steak and the camel burger so exciting but it's still too early to have dinner right now so we're just gonna go walk around first until about seven o'clock in half an hour so we'll come back this is it the poor guy we didn't uh, ride any camels because it's oh poor camel poor camel but then we're gonna eat they're dead. Whereas if you ride a camel, they're still alive, you know? They're still living. But if you eat a camel that's already dead, then it's already dead. <laughs> so mean. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. <laughs> so where are we going? We're back in the old souk. Souk, if you're not familiar, it's um, a kind of term for a market. And I don't know, we're just roaming around. Because we were here already like a few days ago. But um, just waiting for dinner time, so I don't know where to go. Let's go with this thing. Want some rollies? And you have some come chicken made with cheese snack. Come, 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 come. Get that, get that. Yes, yes, come. Oh, no, it won't. Yes, come, come, come. Oh, yeah, that's good. Just for you. Just for you. Just for you. Just for you. Good, good. Just for you. Just for you. Wow, this place is nice. What do you think? For you, you Oh, look at look at that place. Oh, look at this place. Look at the frame. Look at it. Wow. I think it's some kind of praying place, like a temple maybe. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's so nice. So the whole entire wall, the whole facade, is tiles. It's made out of tiles. So half an hour later, we are now going back to the restaurant, which is called Local House Restaurant. We are going to try some camels. Local 
Coco Pops. Thank you. Thank you. Why did we only come here today? All the food looks really good. Hey, we have some bread. I don't know what kind of bread this is, but it looks like looks like roti, except that I don't think it's roasted in a tandoor, so I don't know. It's Arabic bread. Yeah, Arabic bread, which is it. And then we also have some dips right here. I have no idea what these are, but they look interesting. This one looks a bit spicy. This one looks more like, it's like oil, but with like chilies and things like that. What is this sauce? So this actually is it's from, it's from, it's from the house. Yeah. This one is made with the capsicum, the dirt capsicum. Capsicum, right. And the tomatoes, mm -hmm. and some walnuts, and some olive oil. So all oil, mix. so mix together. Mix. Yeah. And this is the mixed pickles. Pickled vegetables? Pickle. Yeah. yeah. And this one with the block olives, and the green olives, the carrot, some spices, smart, small mix. Yeah. All vegetable, you know, you know meat. So you can, how do you eat it? You put it on the, the bread? bread? Yes, exactly. Ah, Seems like a normal. So it's like an appetizer. This is for like from the house. Like, if you order something, the big main course, and people need to wait. Yeah. This is like we give like a yeah, starter. Yeah, yeah, starter, starter. So we've got some free appetizers on the house. That's what he said. And I'm going to try these dips. You're supposed to eat it with the bread. So let's try this one out. Mmm. Actually good. You can taste like the um, the spices, capsicum with um, some nuts and tomato and oil. Mm. Surprisingly, it's not spicy. I like it though. Mm, I like this one. This is really nice. It's a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. So of course, we ordered the camel burger and the camel steak, but it's not cheap in this place, you guys. Typically, a meal here in old Dubai would be, you know, a lot cheaper compared to the city. But this place, I guess because it's pretty popular for serving camel dishes, so their camel dishes are pretty pricey. But according to what we've researched, it's worth it. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if it's really worth the hype and the price. After it's good. After you need to cut into two pieces, I can cut into two pieces. Ah, okay. Sure, thank you. Easy to eat. <laughs> yeah, it's easier to eat. Okay, here you go, guys. This is our camel burger. It looks very unassuming. It looks very simple, you know? We wouldn't think it's a camel. But so look at the patty. It's really thick as well. So we just filmed some videos for you guys, but we're gonna ask them to cut it in half so that Pierre and I can share it and we can both try it. And have equal portions. We've got um, cheese inside. You can see there's cheese. There's, is that egg? There's, no. It's like egg, yeah, there's egg. Yeah. And then there's onions. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah, it's so much better. Thank you. I'm gonna try the camel burger now. I'm so excited. Look at this. Look at how thick the meat is. It's so thick and it's so dark and it's like red meat and it looks really juicy. Let me try. Mmm, it's so tender and juicy. I like it. Mmm, it's really, really soft. The patty just melts in your mouth. I think I like camel meat now. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's just so soft. Oh my gosh, you're gonna like it. But it's not spicy though. We yeah, order for spicy. There's a hint of sweetness to it. I don't know if it's the sauce. It's a must try, you guys. If you're ever in Dubai, oh my gosh. It's worth the hype, I think. And that's just like a few bites. Can you see it? I'm so excited. Okay, first bite. Kind of tastes like 
I don't know. Like beef? Or something? It's like beef, yeah, like <laughs> beef and lamb mixed together. And it's very high in protein, right? This one is no cholesterol. Oh, no, no cholesterol. No cholesterol. And this is more juicy, maybe. Uh, like mm, juicy. juicy, yeah. So, yeah, there's no cholesterol in this. Really low fat, high in protein. It kind of tastes like beef. I did not expect that. That is so unexpected. And it's really good. Yeah, it's worth a try. It's worth a try. We've got our camel steak right here. Okay. The portion isn't too bad. It's actually pretty big. It's good for two people, I think. Okay, so the whole thing comes with the camel meat, which is a lot. See, there's like bits and pieces over there. Comes with fries, some vegetables, and some mashed potatoes, and this dip right here in the middle. I'd say like Arabic food is pretty much carb heavy, but I'm not complaining. Because, you know, it's very filling, very satisfying. All right, let's try the meat. I'm gonna try it first without any sauces, just so I have like an idea of how it really tastes like as it is. Mmm. It's more like beef papa. Kind of like similar to that, but I would say it's like a bit more soft, not as chewy. But it's lacking a little bit of saltiness, I think. I think I should dip it in sauce. Like a gravy. This is kind of like gravy, not really a sauce. Mmm. Yeah. It's a like gravy. Like very thin gravy. And it goes with the meat so well. Let's have some mashed potato. Mmm. That is really creamy. I like this mashed potato. It's like there's cheese in it. It's like sticky, almost. Wow. I like that. But I have to say, I like the burger better. <laughs> this looks good. I mean, just the plating. Look at that. We got vegetables. I don't know what sauce this is. Let me try. Gravy. Yes, I think it's your house-made gravy. Yep. Let me go for this slice. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, it's like beef tapa. You know, like back in the Philippines, there's beef tapa. It's similar to that. And you can feel that there's not much fat in it. And I believe it's marinated in a mix of spices and herbs, so you can see. You can still smell the herbs from it. Yeah, let me try it with a gravy. Mm, that's good. Tastes better with the gravy. I just like that it's, um, it's so lean. I don't feel guilty for eating a lot of fat because it doesn't come with a lot of fats. But I just, I don't know if this is similar to beef where you have to like, you don't have to like cook it too well because I think this is like well way overcooked. But it's not that I, it's bad. I guess I'm just not used to eating steak that's like really well cooked. And considering this is steak, I think it's really well cooked. But maybe it's just how it's supposed to be. Mm. Wow. So like the one on top is like kunafa, right? But what's the difference between this and kunafa? That one with the cheese. Oh, cheese under. Cheese. Ah. Tipsy kunafa and down cream. Uh huh. Nice. Looks good. So this is the syrup, and we're supposed to if pour. Okay. Maybe I should try first without. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kunafa. See, right there. It's like cheese. You can choose to have like cheese or Nutella, but they don't have Nutella right now. So we ordered another one instead, which is very similar, except that it has two layers of knafa and cream in between that. It has some pistachios, nuts, and it also has some syrup right here. But it seems like they already poured syrup on top of it, so I'm not gonna pour anything anymore until I've tried it and see if it's sweet enough for my liking. So the first time we tried knafa, we really, really liked it. Like. I don't know, where has kunafa been all my life? Why is it only the first time I'm trying it here in Dubai? It's really, really good. So, I don't know, we've, been, we've, just, we've just been like ordering kunafa wherever we can find them. And this is like a different variation, I guess. So let's give it a try. What's this thing on top? It's like, oh, it's also cream, yeah. Similar to what's in the middle. And roll cream. Yeah, okay. Let's try it. See, what I like about kunafa is the, the texture. I don't know what it is, but it's so interesting. It's like crispy. The texture is just so good. 
Now this is good. I like this better than the first time we tried guanaco. We've tried three different types already, I think, and this is so far the one that I like the most. It almost, it's like very similar to cerdura, except this is more crispy. The texture of this is better than cerdura. And, and it's like, better. yeah, 100% better. And like, it's served really cold, so it's almost like ice cream-like, but not really. I like it. Mm. It's so good. Oh my gosh. So far, this is the best one I've tried. I keep saying that, but it is. I could go on. This is so good. Thank you, actually. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> worth it. I think it's worth the hype, no? It's a little bit expensive. We paid around, well, we paid a total of 201 dirhams, which is in Hong Kong dollars is about 400. It's only for like two meals and one dessert. But, you know, it's not every day you get to try camel meat and camel burger. So, might as well, while you're in Dubai, it's worth a try, even just once you come here. It's definitely a must try. Huge shout out to AJ for being such an amazing host and a good, um, for the good service. And yeah, we just enjoyed it the whole time. He's been like coming to us, checking on us and telling us, you know, information about the dishes. So really good service. Thanks, AJ. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.